Hello and welcome. My name is Nick Bunyan. This is Project Whoop and you guys are whoopsies. Today we're going to talk about two products with an optional third. Cheap wireless earbuds from Amazon. There is multiple versions of these. I've actually seen the same one listed under seven different names with seven different prices. Um, I'm not going to go into that, but this is the cheap version. The expensive version is the Apple AirPods, and this is their latest model with the charging case, not wireless, because I don't care about wireless charging. Over the head earphones, these are the Noontech Zoro 2. They do sell them on Amazon. These ones are not available right now. On their website, they are $120. Before we go on, you might be wondering what is going on. Personally, I lost 20 pounds pounds and I stopped my diet. I didn't put the weight back on, but I stopped my diet because I wanted to enjoy life a little bit. I will get back on the diet soon because I want to lose a little bit more weight, but I started working out five days a week. If you work out in 2019, unless you have a friend working out with you to talk, you definitely need to listen to some music or a podcast. The only reason these headphones are in this video is because Noontech actually sent me the first version of these three years ago and I made a video on it. I still have that pair and it still works just as it did day one. A year later, they sent me this pair and it still works just as it did day one. It has an amazing sound, very clear highs, very clear bass. The only problem with them, you know that exercise when you go up with the dumbbells? Well, I kept hitting them and that was very annoying. Also, every time I was laying back on a bench, my headphones would drop. It was very weird when they would fall off during an exercise because then you're like, okay, am I fixing my headphone? Am I doing the exercise? So. I decided that I needed to go with some sort of earbuds. I just spit somewhere here. For the most part, I used the wired Samsung earphones that came with my phone, the S6, I believe, because it had a 3.5 millimeter output. However, when I upgraded to my Google Pixel 2 XL, and that was like a year, year and a half ago, uh, I only have USB-C output. You can get an adapter and make them work, but who wants to carry a dongle around? Or you can get specific USB-C headphones, but at that point I was like, might as well go wireless so I can put them on multiple devices. Before before we go any further, this is where people are going to be split in two. There's people that are going to like this design and there's people that are going to like this design. Me personally, I like this design because it's just comfortable for me. I can wear it for hours. I can sleep with it. Just they're fine. This design is the one that goes a little bit more into your ear. And yeah, it does penetrate a bit more. So it has a better vacuum seal or whatever you want to say. So you have a little bit more noise canceling. Arguably, the sound might be a a little better and the bass a little more clear, but I cannot wear them for more than 20, 30 minutes because my ears hurt. They feel like it's stinging. It's just not working out for me. I'm only saying that because if you're one of the people that like the other type of headphone, then the flat ones might not be the ones for you. My tablet, my phone, my past tablets and my past phones have all been Android. So I wanted to go for the Samsung wireless earbuds. They have the design that's not comfortable for my ears. So that's out of the question. Before I bought the Apple earbuds, I thought, hey, how about we test the waters with something cheap from Amazon? Because come on, it's Apple, so it's just is going to be overpriced. I got these for $30 from Amazon and in the title it had all the right keywords, sweat proof, workout headphones, active lifestyle, etc. And the truth be told, they suck. Now don't get me wrong, if I had no other options, I would definitely rather have crappy music than have no music at all. If I ever were to recommend a pair of wireless earbuds, I would not recommend these ones. Let me give an example. I'm not going to bring out all my headphones, but I do want to make a point. Most of you guys are gamers just like me, so sound is very important and once you use a quality headset for gaming music movies whatever you'll know that it's very difficult to go back to something that's not good which is why for the longest time ever i was preferring the over the year headphones because these were the closest that it got me to my gaming headset compared to my favorite gaming headset which is the astro a40 I would say that these are a 9 out of 10 when it comes to music quality. When I got the cheap ones from Amazon, I used them for two weeks exclusively. And 
and I gotta tell you guys, I was getting unmotivated to work out because the music was just not great. Music can really set the mood for your workout, at least for me personally. If it's good music and good quality, I'm more amped up to work out, it's a better workout for me. Because I know what quality I was getting out of these, and then listening to the cheap ones, which I would say are about a 6 out of 10, it was more infuriating for me. Now keep in mind what I'm about to say is coming from somebody who's used Android phones and Android tablets pretty much since the first Google One phone. I still have it. And I'm not just saying that. Check this out. This is the first Google phone, the G1. Screen looks weird because I still have a screen protector on it. And oh my goodness, man, this thing was slow. And this is the second one, G2. It was from T-Mobile. I had to put a little bit of tape right there because the back cover was very squeaky. So you have to put tape so it's not squeaky. I am a diehard Android fan, so it hurts me to say that these things are absolutely amazing. Sound quality is 9 out of 10, just like these ones. I honestly didn't think they would sound good because I just thought they were going to be overpriced hype, but my gosh, the bass is clear, the highs are clear, they're just a very good pair of headset. Well, earbuds. I will say that it cannot go as loud as the Noontech, for example. I cannot listen to these on full volume. It hurts my ears. Normally, I listen to these at about 60 to 70% volume. These guys, I can max them out on some songs, but most of the time I listen at about 90%. If I take them out, the obvious difference between these two is gonna be the size. I have what most people would consider large ears, and I can tell you that these things are big. Now, they fit me fine, and I can tell they're on the larger side, they won't fall off they're definitely a lot bigger than the airpods but that's also to say that i've used the airpods for over a month and i can tell you that they've never fallen out of my ears even while working out running whatever it was had no problem the cheap ones have a button on them which you can use to stop play or double tap to skip to the next song very useful. Apple ones don't have a button. It has a sensor so you can double tap and that will pause the song and if you double tap again it will play but you can't skip the song. You can go in the customization menu and change it so you double tap to skip the song but then you can't pause it you know if somebody's talking to you to double tap to stop it. What they're expecting you to do is to double tap and go like hey Siri play next song. Hey Siri volume up or whatnot. For Android it works the same because it has a microphone so you can go like hey Google like change the song or next or whatnot but it's not my style and speaking of android there is a free app that connects so you can see the battery life on each earbud and the case i've had absolutely no problem connecting them and listening to music it's never interrupted i would have loved the ability to play pause and skip song that's it that's all i would have wanted it's still doable i think with a firmware update but at the moment it's not in terms of the charging case um, I mean, you know, besides the size, there's quite a difference. One is built sturdy and one is plastic. And if I take this to my microphone and I squeeze it, I don't think you hear anything. If I take this, oh crap. If I take this and squeeze it, you might hear the plastic. They're also slimmer. When I put these in my pocket, I don't notice them too much, but these ones I definitely do. If you keep them in your back pocket, I wouldn't sit on these because I think you would break them. The good news about both of them is, for example, if you go to the gym and you take out both of them, you can put them in your ear and then you don't have to have the case with you. You can put the case in your car, in your backpack, wherever. It doesn't have to be on you. You just have to have the earbuds and your phone or whatever is connected to it. Also, these ones snap automatically in place and whenever you put them in and close it they automatically stop your music and start charging these ones they sometimes do it and it says that it's got a magnetic grip there but you have to push it in to, to charge but for the cheap ones you have to press the button so they start charging they don't do it automatically downside of the apple ones for somebody who's an android user is definitely the cable it's that lightning connector i think it's called and for somebody that doesn't use apple products i basically have to unplug something plug this cable in whenever i'm charging this now granted i'm charging this every two weeks so it's not that big of a deal but everything that i have is either usb c or mini usb this thing is also mini usb so i gotta make sure i don't lose this cable and it's a little inconvenience but other than that i an android guy 
have to recommend the Apple AirPods. If you can't afford anything, I mean, I would definitely go for the cheap ones. It's better to have some sort of music than to have nothing at all. But if you can and you are able to and you want better quality, then these are it. Unless you prefer over the year headphones, then I don't know, try these ones. I like them. They have really good sound. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Bless your beautiful soul and your beautiful face and I'll see you guys later. Anybody notice that I had a different microphone on? I'm I'm trying to see if it's gonna be better quality. I hope it's better quality because I don't wanna record this all over again.